we got a question about patches on the geese after you've moved to a new gym. So one of the guys that trains with me now, Rob, he recently moved to this gym from another gym and you know he's gonna be here for a while so he's sort of under us now. But he was wondering, what does he do with the patches that he has on his gi from his old gym? He's like, do I just get rid of them? Do I keep them on? Like, what do, I, what do I do? Because he plans to go up to the gym, the old gym, because he visits you know home from time to time pretty regularly. And so he's wondering, should he keep a gi that has the patch on it so that he can go in there and still like kind of be respectful to that person? Or is it gonna be disrespectful to the coach that he's at now, me, if he keeps the patch on, right? And he's wondering what my thoughts are on it. Obviously, he knows that this will vary from instructor to instructor, but what are my thoughts on it? So first off, Rob, thanks for the question, dude. And you already know my answer on this, but um, again, I'll share this with everyone else. So as far as the way that I feel about patches, I would find it disrespectful if you came to my gym and you're gonna, like, let's say for instance, you watching this, if you were a trained jiu-jitsu and maybe you were like, in Rob's case, you were a pretty darn good blue belt, real tough blue belt, right? And then you moved to this gym and you came in and you had a patch, I would find it kind of disrespectful if you didn't keep a patch of that person on, right? Because to me, unless there was a falling out where you guys had a really bad situation where you didn't want to be associated with that person at all, think about it this way. As coaches, we give to our students a part of us, right? You may not think about it this way, but like, if I teach my students, and I'm in the trenches with them, training and drilling and doing all this stuff, I'm not simply sitting up on a board going like, hey, do this and point to something, right? I'm in the trenches with them, putting myself at risk of bodily injury. That's a part of me, right? My body has been altered sometimes by the things that my students do, right? I've given my students a piece of me in order to make them better. And you guys out there, if you move, your former coach gave their self, a piece of themselves to you to make you better. Right? And so to me, like, I would be, I would say that's kind of, you know, to me, I think it's fine to be respectful to that person and to pay homage to them to say, listen, this person made me better. They got me going in jujitsu and I still have a ton of respect for them. I'm going to keep a patch on them. And sort of something to show you guys, I used to be under Hanato. Right, I'm not under Hanato anymore because it just the, there's a distance thing, right? It's, it's a very far distance to down to Florida, and I don't have the ability to go down there very often. And so I went under Sean because of the close proximity and the relationship that I personally have with Sean. But that said, I have a great deal of respect for Hanato, and if you see around here, Hanato symbol, Hanato had a definite impact on my game. If it wasn't for him, my half guard wouldn't be what it is. He showed me a ton of really awesome drills, had a really big impact on my game, and so I'm not going to extinguish the memory of Hanato just because I'm no longer under him. So even on the wall right here where I have like all the like the list, like, like so here's Sean, here's me, and here's all the you know the Gracies like Alio and, and Carlos, and here is here's Hanato, right? Again. I'm no longer under him, but at the same time, I have a great deal of respect for what he did, who, what he did for me and what he did for the um, the gym. I'm gonna stop talking on this thing until I get back over there. So to finish this video, here's what I would say to you. If you are going to a gym, you're moving, and you're wondering what you should do with your patches, you ultimately have to consult your coach because every gym's a little different, right? Everyone's a little bit different about this stuff. Some people are very particular about patches that can be worn and where they can be worn and how they can be worn and from whose gym. For me personally, I think it's awesome to maintain that respect for that person and say, you know what, man, I'm here now. Like, I'm, I'm under you, but at the same time, this person had a deep impact on me, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I don't think so anyway. But again, always consult your coach that you're go going to to see what their thoughts are on it because some people can be very particular about that stuff. So anyway, Rob, that's the answer, brother. Thanks so much for the question. And guys, hopefully this is helpful to someone out there that's moving. I'll talk to you guys next time.